Are you serious? Hey everyone, I'm going to try to uh, accomplish a couple things today in this video. Um, those of you who don't like conflict or you don't like truth, you'd rather listen to people who tell you what you want to hear, uh, you may as well stop watching right now because this video is not going to be positive. It's not going to be negative. But it is going to be my prediction video about the coming year, and I'm going to predict things based on four of the uh, end times speculators that I follow, and I'm going to be a little bit bold because I'm going to make predictions, and um, my predictions may not be true. <gasps> How dare I make predictions that might not be true, but uh, I think they will be, and uh, what we're going to do here is what I found is there's an interesting kind of uh, trend that has that went on during uh, 2020, where the Watchmen, you know, this this uh, <laughs> this pandemic thing has just really made life interesting. I mean, none of these Watchmen predicted a pandemic a year ago, or let's say a year and a half ago. They've been doing this this type of work for 10 years, 15 years, five years. Never once did they talk about pestilence as being a major part of end times because there weren't really any pestilences, pestilence eye. Uh, you know, Zika virus, Ebola scares. You know, we had the AIDS thing, but that's kind of like gone. You know, so there, there, there just wasn't anything big, okay? So they never talked about it. So you'll notice that's their pattern. They talk about what's happening in the news today. Then they pretend like this has been in the Bible all along this particular thing the vaccines that are rolling out worldwide or throughout the world that's in the bible they say well that's really odd i don't see anything like well pharmakia you know witchcraft okay where were you two years ago where was that in your list two years ago jd farag of signs of the end why didn't you say well yeah, all these signs are here, so we're really close. But there are a few missing, I will admit, that the, the, the pharmacia vaccine thing hasn't happened yet. I see it could happen because we've had polio vaccination things. We've had worldwide pandemics recently in the last hundred years. Uh, it could happen. Once that happens, we'll look for it because that's pestilence. And that's in, that's in Matthew 24. We don't really have that yet, but look for it. Watch for it. It's coming, guys. It's coming. We could be raptured any time still, but, but that pestilence and then the vaccine will be, you know, on its way. Never, never said a word. Yet he's now going to claim that's in the Bible. So, J.D., have you just not been reading your Bible? Do you see what I'm trying to get at? These guys change prophecy. They change prophecy. Get, get what I'm saying here. They interpret or they define prophecy as speculating about the future based on the present news. So they change it whenever they need to, to fit their story. That's not prophecy. Prophecy does not change. You know, you'll hear them talk about prophecy is speeding up now. You, 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 you can't, you can't speed up prophecy. You cannot make God. We can't the news cannot make God act faster than he was going to act. Oh my God, there's a, there's, a, there's a worldwide pandemic. I'm going to speed things up now. I mean, it's just... What, what, a, what a bunch of tomfoolery. I, I just can't even... So, here's my predictions. I have four people. In all four of these cases, they made predictions about that were similar to... Here, I'll show you uh, this one here. Here's Chad. Your life is not going back to normal. That's the theme of this, of this video I'm making. All four of these people predicted months ago life would never return to normal. Now, let's make a couple of quick, thing, quick statements about that. There's no such thing as normal if you define it a certain way. Will life change constantly? Yes. Every single year things are different than the year before in some way. Um, there's, there's many small changes that occur over time, and then a few years later, they're, lo and behold, giant. So cell phones is a really good one. 
I mean, I got my first cell phone in 1998, you know, when it was still cool to have a cell phone driving around with it, like, hey, everybody, look at me, check me out. Uh, <clears throat> you know, within 10 years, nobody even gives it a second thought. And then now it's like it's way beyond a phone, right? So that's huge. That Life is not normal today like it was 25 years ago when we didn't have cell phones. It's not normal anymore. So if you define it like that, which some of these guys try to are going to try to do that, then, then yeah, life is never normal. It's always changing. There were things that occurred in 2020 related to the pandemic, the government's response to the pandemic. Let's, let's be careful here. The pandemic didn't actually change much at all. The actual pandemic didn't do really anything. The government's response to the pandemic did what it did, made the changes. The government said, you're locked down. The government said, stay in your homes. The government said, basically wiped out the entire, you know, entertainment and hospitality industry, which by the way, the, the entertainment industry is, is filled with people that are in the New World Order and the Illuminati. I don't, I don't get it. Why would they attack themselves? Hmm. Is that all just a, just a, a, a ruse? Or are they so stupid, they're like, oh my, oh my goodness, I, I didn't realize that, that hyping this vaccine and pandemic was, and, and trying to kill a third of the population would actually hurt my business. Oh, shoot. What are we doing, you guys? Let's get back together and get back in that smoke-filled room again, because we really screwed up, you know? Come on into the room, guys. Can you see that? Anyway. I'm just having a little fun this morning. <laughs> I'm trying to be the kindler, gentler Bruce, okay? And and that's for you Gen Xers out there. You you know what I mean when I say that. Hamrick really has taught me some things about, you know, presentation and style. You got to be lighthearted. Don't be so angry. Uh, wear, a belt, wear a ball cap, you know. Makes you look younger. Anyway, here's my predictions, if you guys are still with me. So I'm going to run J.D. Farag first. Here he is um, on October 25th, and he's talking about, wow, look at the difference in the world since the, the uh, pandemic. And actually, I went into my archives to revisit prior updates and look at some of the prophecies that made it on this top 10 list, and I realized that it really needed to be updated, especially in light of the commencement of COVID-19 at the beginning of this year, which I think you would agree has changed everything in this world. So much so that it will never be the same again. The world we once knew is gone. And now what is ahead is exactly what we're told in Bible prophecy will be ahead according to God's word. Yeah, so you see what I'm saying? It'll never be the same again. Well, no, and, and there were, and <clears throat> what do you mean by that? And what he means by that is we have, we're going to have this vaccine, and the mark of the beast is soon to come after that, and we're going to be gone before that happens. That's what he means. He doesn't mean <clears throat> what I would mean by that, which is digital strategies, digital connections, virtual work, uh, workforce, um, Certain, certain entertainment things that we once did all the time, those are all totally different. Companies have learned by, you know, having a virtual workforce for, for a year, they're like, oh my gosh, we could just keep it this way forever and save all kinds of money, and right? That's what's happened. That's a major, major, that's a shift, no doubt. But that's not what, that's not what he's talking about. And again, you see what I'm saying by, um, you know, the, this this <laughs> this is all in Revelation exactly exactly it, again J D if it's exactly like this in Revelation then where where were you three years ago that's all I'm saying all right here's the next one it's uh it's Chad look at him just look at him hey there Chad 
Look at his little eyes staring back at you. Look at that doe-eyed expression. By the way, is anybody else freaked out by him? <laughs> Sorry, I have to go off on a tangent here. I'm going to take a little rabbit trail. Anybody else freaked out by his by his face on on these videos like me? Doesn't he look like I'm not trying to pick on him, but he photoshopped himself and then so it's his fault that he looks like that. Who who has seen um I Am Legend with Will Smith? Who has seen that movie? Does he not look like one of the beasts in I Am Legend? Okay, I'm going to I'm I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to I'm going to have to open another tab here. You know. I know you guys have nothing else to do with your day but hang around and watch my silly videos, but I am, there he is, I have already, I just recently looked it up because of this. Alright, so maybe not when the, his mouth is open like that. <laughs> oh gosh, anyways. <laughs> right there, there he is. <laughs> There's Chad, oh my gosh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> No, Chad, you're not that ugly, but you just kind of remind me because because his face is like a skeleton in these pictures. I don't know why he did that. Why did you make did you deliberately go in and make your face smaller? Anyways, here's uh, here's his uh, thing. All right. But what I'm also seeing a lot of is people putting their trust in politicians, you know, thinking that things are going to get so much better that this year has been insane. But it's not a problem. Things are going to, you know, our life is going to go back to the way it was. Things are going to go back to normal, right? The reality is the normal that we were used to before, that's gone. This coronavirus pandemic or plandemic, as a lot of, a lot of us like to call it, because the virus is real, right? But the agenda behind the coronavirus is much bigger. Again, this whole coronavirus pandemic or plandemic has it's setting the stage for a coming global government you know a new world order a one world religion right and a one world currency it's setting the stage for the coming mark of the b system which the technology is here now for all right basically life's not going back to normal because we're heading into the beast system uh, there is no ambiguity to it he is stating ex inexplicably that this coronavirus from 2019 to 2020, not some future whatever, this one, and, and whatever vaccines are coming, it's all part of the plan, and it's things are not going back to normal. Um, this is September of 2020. By, by the way, I am going to make a few predictions here, but I'm going to show you all the videos first, so let's get out of here. Let's go to Chels, and then I have one more after Chelsea, which is Scarborough, the bro man, the broski, our broski, bro, 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 bro BS. So... Here we go. Let's let let's listen to her. And people are wanting 2020 just to go back to normal. That or they're well, they're hoping that 2020 is going out the window and 2021 is going to go back to normal. Mm -mm. 2021, people better hang on because it's going to be a wild ride. And I hope that we're hanging on on this wild ride up to the gates of heaven to be with the Lord forever. Amen. So, <laughs> anyways, I don't want to keep this video too long. I just wanted to pop on and say hey let you guys know that i love you um i know that my posting schedule has <laughs> i let it run a little longer just to show you guys again <laughs> just her just her 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 demeanor is just it just it doesn't match what she's talking about you know what i mean like and all these guys do this they're always like hey everybody i was just sitting poolside here today and uh running out to get some sushi and whatever. I hope you're having a great day. And any, any, anyway, the world's going to end very soon and you're all going to die. But, you know, I just thought I would run out and get some sushi. <laughs> you know, where was I? <clears throat> yeah, world's not going back to normal. Forget about it. This is going to be even crazier this year. Well, I don't think that's... I mean, again, it has to be crazier than 2021 for that to be true or crazier than 2020 crazier crazier than an, a, a president being impeached twice in one year crazier than empty streets in New York City and Los Angeles crazier than a 30% drop in US domestic product in one month and then a 31% rise the uh, six months later crazier than the stock market what the stock market did 
all this has to be crazier for that to actually be true. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, I'll get to my prediction, though. <clears throat> so here we go with Scarborough. Uh, 2021, as believers in Christ, we know that 2021 is not going to be any better than 2020. It's going to continue to get worse. And I'm not bumming you out. I'm sharing with you prophetic scripture. I heard again just yesterday, it was like Troy Aikman or somebody, he was like, oh, well, when we get back to filling up all the stadiums, and yeah, that ain't coming. When we get back to, you know, I, I shared a video, thank you, Kimmers, for this, from Catherine Austin Fitz that you ought to check. All right, so he goes off on a tangent there. Stadiums are not going to be filled up, he says. Like, I guess ever. I guess ever. Now, he may come back here and twist it and say, well, I meant in 2021. Yeah, I agree. They're not going to be filled up in 2021. It'll be 30 to 50% capacity in 2021. But by 2022, 23... Well, I'm getting into my predictions now. So here, here's what I predict. Overall, here's what I predict. At this point, we have... 25% uh, of the country vaccinated. Whether you believe in vaccinations or not, I don't, you know, I'm nervous about it. I'm not sure that I'm going to take, I'm not going to take it right away. I'm going to bide my time. I'm nervous because of the, the speed at which a brand new technology, I mean, it's brand new in terms of its testing. I, I'm, and I've talked to some doctor friends of mine that, you know, have different opinions. So I've gotten a lot of different opinions. It makes me nervous, but I, I think 75% of the country will be vaccinated by June, and I, it, I'm 95% sure it's going to work. There, there, there's a number of things that are going to work. The virus is just going to play itself out. It's just going to burn itself out. That's what viruses do. If you did nothing, eventually it would be gone, or it would be greatly reduced after it wreaked its habit. It's like a fire burning up a, a forest, and in, in the case of a virus, 99.5% of people aren't going to die of it. They're just going to get it, feel terrible, and then have an immunity to it. So I think we have far greater herd immunity than we realize. I think this thing has been around longer than we realize. Um, mo more of us have gotten it than, than we think. <clears throat> and then, so it's just going to naturally start to fade away. And the vaccinations are going to help as well even if they don't technically help let's say you're totally skeptical um it'll help in the sense that the governments of the world will say okay now that everybody's vaccinated or 75 percent okay we're good to open up again so so i i absolutely disagree that that 2022 won't be back to normal again by normal i mean people generally are going back to work they're not generally working at home you cannot make widgets in your own home office you have to be on the assembly line uh, people are generally going to be the biggest lockdown parts are restaurants bars whatever generally by 2022 yeah it'll be back to going out wherever you want to go feel free to go and no masks so i will make a declarative statement yeah 100 percent guarantee you no masks by 2022 Again, you can go ahead and cut that clip out and save it. And if I'm wrong, I'll say, geez, I didn't see that coming. Because unlike my, unlike my Watchmen brothers, brother, uh, brethren, unlike my Watchmen brothers and sisters, I actually could be wrong. Like, and I know it. But yeah, the mask mandates are going to be dropping all over the place this year. California and New Jersey and New York, and they'll be slower. Okay, but we already see Mississippi. The governor of Mississippi is basically saying, yeah, we're, we're going to get rid of masks. We're going to get rid of masks, let alone like open up. That's, that's, that's really forward thinking. So I think more states will follow suit. Um, so yeah, all this stuff, yeah, life is going to go back to normal. It always does. And if you're a big rapture fanatic, well, guess what? You believe life will be normal because people will be eating and drinking and marrying, giving you man today, today, just like normal, just like normal. So how you can believe two things at once is beyond me, but that's par for the course with your view. You can believe that life will be normal when the when the rapture occurs, but life is never going back to normal because of the because of the virus. So that proves that we're near the rapture. Okay. Final predictions then, Barry Scarborough. Um, 
he will just pretend like he never said any of that. He's already doing that. And he will just continue on with whatever the hypey, hypeyest news items are and swear to you up and down that because of this and my dream... See, whenever he runs out of stuff to talk about, he just talks about a dream he had, and that throws everybody off and like, oh my goodness, what a what a prophet from God. I, 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 heart, I can't believe that God would use this man from Missouri and his fevered imagination to tell the world what's going to happen next. I, but hey... He claims it, and therefore it must be true. So that's what he'll do. He'll just do par for the course. Same, same with Chelsea. Chelsea doesn't really do much anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, Chelsea is about get my faith on TV some more, and whatever I say, blah 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 blah, blah sushi blah blah, people will watch me. So who cares? So she'll just pretend like she never said that. Chad, Chad doesn't really do anything new. He recycles stuff all the time. Uh, from other people and just recycles it every couple of weeks. He does. I mean, I literally think sometimes his videos are just reposting of the same video he already made. and it, it, But it's just got a new date on it. So Chad's got other issues with the fig tree generation thing that's going to fail. Um, so he'll, he'll be one of those guys that, uh, you know, it'll come back around every once in a while in 2021 in his videos where he's like, don't forget, you know, the vaccines, that's the beginnings of the mark of the beast. Don't forget that. You know, don't take it. Watch out. It's going to be the mark of the beast someday. He'll say that a few times throughout the year. 2022, he'll say it a few less times. And every year after that, he'll say it fewer and fewer times. But who cares? By then, we'll have something brand new. J.D. Farag is the one that I find the most interesting because he, along with uh, that arrogant foolish, psychopathic fraud Jeff Greider. The two of them have really latched their, hitched their wagon to this vaccine, the one that we're putting in people's arms right now, will become the mark of the beast. They both said that, which is like really bold for JD. And the other weird thing is JD has stopped using Middle Eastern prophecy update. He hasn't talked about the Middle East virtually at all. For a year, he's only talked about the vaccine and the, and the virus. And I find that really interesting because, like, he has told us numerous times, hey, guys, the Middle East is the clock. We, we, we really shouldn't. I, I name my videos Middle Eastern Prophecy Update because that's where prophecy happens. It doesn't really happen anywhere else. It happens there. So we need to be watching there and focusing on that because that's where it all happens. Except for this full year that we've been in. When you haven't even paid, you haven't paid attention to it at all. I mean, like, see, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, JD, it's either biblical and from the Lord that the Middle East is where prophecy occurs, and that's where we should focus, or it isn't. So if it isn't, then don't say that it is, and feel free to talk about whatever. If it is, why are you wasting a, to a whole year talking about this vaccine? What happened to your original? story you know the original reason he grew is he's an arab he's a middle eastern looking guy who is supportive of israel and talking about middle eastern topics which i guess he's just automatically an expert because he looks like one okay fine and he can speak a little bit of arabic um that was his shtick like i'm an arab descent uh, a guy of arab descent you know by the way he's 100 percent american he was born here um or at least he was raised here as a, from a small child. and uh, But, you know, he's got credibility when he talks about Middle Eastern subjects because, you know, hey, I'm Middle Eastern. And so I'm going to stick with the Middle East because that's where I'm from and that's who I am and that's what's going on. That's what the prophetic clock is and da 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 It's all about Israel. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing about it for a year. So my prediction is this. When the vaccine thing fails to, to deliver on what he thinks it should happen, and it actually begins to take hold around the world and actually works. I mean, that's going to be that's going to be devastating to his viewpoint, but he won't care. He will simply shift back over to Middle Eastern topics. All of a sudden, Syria will matter again. Damascus will matter again. Russia and what they're doing in the Middle East is going to matter again. You know, last week or something, Joe Biden um, ordered some attacks on Syria 
and and it made the news because like Trump had done the same thing and Biden had ridiculed it. This guy didn't even mention that. That's if we didn't have the pandemic and stuff, that was that would have been his topic um, last Sunday. He didn't even mention it, but he will. So my prediction for him and all these guys is by June or July, we're going to start to see a shift back into their old. This guy especially, he'll be back on the Middle Eastern topics by then for at least 50% of the time. He will still bring in the vaccine as a, you know, hey, this is still the mark of the beast someday, blah, blah, blah. And then year after year as that goes by, he will gradually pull back until he just doesn't talk about it anymore. And then he'll be like, gee, I hope nobody watches my old videos where I swore up and down that this would become the mark. For the record, I could be wrong, but I, I seriously doubt it. Talk to you guys later.